Welcome to MathX. Personally, I hate these types of questions because to do them, you need to be really creative and creativity is hard to come by. But maybe if by observing this and a little bit of these, okay, this might pass your mind. What is one over X plus one over Y plus one over Z? Okay. So what we're gonna have, of course, this will be X, Y, Z here, but okay, if you pay attention, the numerator here will be exactly this. Okay, it will be Y, Z plus XZ and plus XY. So all of this, okay, will be this. So this will be zero. So that means all of this is zero, okay? So I'm gonna go and add this here, one over X plus one over Y plus one over Z is actually zero okay so how does that help okay see i want you to compare the blue equation uh the blue expression with this you see we almost have this you see we have one over x one over y one over z it's here the problem is that we can't uh take these out because they aren't the same, but if you pay attention more, you realize here is X is missing here. X is here. Y is missing here. Y is here. Z is missing here. Z is here. So again, creativity. So we could go and add a plus one to all of these, okay? These will make all the numerators the same, okay? But of course, because we're adding plus one, I'm gonna go, it's gonna be a little ugly, sorry guys. I'm gonna go add a negative three right over here, okay? So when we do this, okay, again, we'll have three fractions and then this minus three, okay? So, it will be x, y, z, okay? And all of this, the numerators for all of them will be x, y, plus z. Again, x plus y plus z. And the same thing happens here. Okay, I think now a lot of you get the idea what to do, okay? So I'm going to go and take out x plus y plus z, and then I'll be creating this. So if I do it, it will be x plus y plus z, okay? It's the same among all terms. So what will be left is 1 over x plus 1 over y plus one over Z. And we already know that this is actually zero. And this was also a minus three, okay? So if I go and call this A, this is A, this is A, right? These are the same things. And we know that this is zero. So x plus y plus z times zero is zero. So we will be left with a negative three. So a equals negative three, okay? If you found it useful, make sure you give it a like.